Do you know your SEO competitors? This is True Ranger, and True Ranger has one of the most interesting competitor modules for SEO. Let's check it out. Now we're inside True Ranger, and in the menu out here, there are two main elements I want to show you before I show you the WordPress plugin. The first is projects, and the second is SEO analyzer. Let's just dive into the project here. I have set up my own website. I've added a bunch of keywords, so it's starting to track those different keywords. And these keywords come primarily from Google Search Console, but they also come from the database of True Ranger. So here you can see our overview of the different keywords. We can see the position I'm on. We can see the last change both in the amount of rankings that I took up, but also in the date. We can see my best ranking. That's of course only within the amount of time that they have been tracking my rankings. Then we can see the approximate search volume, and this is from Google searches. Then we can see the CPC and a lot more here. So what's interesting is that we can click on any of these different keywords, and then we can get an overview of our competitors. So you can see here that this is my competitors more or less for this specific review. And these competitors, I can basically copy and paste into my competitor analysis so I can track how it's going with them compared to myself. And what I can even do is that I can analyze their websites. So right now I have analyzed Droid Crunch right here and it has 57% in the score. And this is the SEO analyzer, which is used for this. So if I go to the analysis right here, you can see that this specific URL scores 57. And just the number by itself doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's explained down here why it's not higher. So here you can see that the size of the page is a bit too large. They're not using their title length and their meta description correct. They're not using their headings correct. The ratio of the page content to page code is incorrect. They're great at using their keywords, so their keyword density is great. And then you can see the different points down here as well. So every time I analyze a website, all of these points here are run on that specific website. So I can see what is this website doing great, and I can get inspired by this in order to make my own score, of course, increase. But let's try and go back to our project here where we have our keywords. Over here, what you need to notice is whether we are ranking on a snippet or our entire website. So here you can see that I'm actually ranking on both a knowledge card and a featured snippet. What I would like to see is a screenshot of the actual time that I was ranking number three on this specific keyword, just to see how it looked and whether it was incorrect or not. But overall, this is great. And again, you can see that we can analyze all of these pages. And this is the overview of your keywords. Right now, I have, of course, imported my keywords from Google Search Console. And that's why right now we have only these two keywords. And these two keywords I can easily add to track as a desktop keyword or as a mobile keyword. I usually track desktop keywords just to begin with to avoid any confusions but now I have added it and this is constantly updated. So if I come back in three hours and check, then there will maybe be some new keywords that I can track. So I really like that about this. We do also have the keyword suggestions within the tool. So right now the keywords they suggested to begin with, I have added all of them, but I can also change here the country. Let's change it to be United Kingdom, for instance. Still, there are no keywords because I'm just tracking all of the keywords. But this is really an interesting feature. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you do in order to find specific keywords you want to rank for? Because this is a great way of doing it. We can also share our project and we can, of course, export it to CSV if we want to work with it within Microsoft Excel or a third program. We can also add tags and we can update specific rankings if you feel the ranking is incorrect and you want the newest ranking. Otherwise, it happens automatically within the system. Up here as well, we can filter our different keywords. Right now, I have only chosen the United States. We can filter on devices by tags and URLs as well. Moving on to the add keywords, this is 
basically just adding a specific keyword. You can either do it by file, a CSV or a text file. You can type them in manually and then you set the different settings for this specific keyword. Now what you can also do is that you can go down to keyword suggestions. This is what I've just shown you both from Google Search Console which we see down here under keyword suggestions. Again, the two keywords here are pulled directly from Google Search Console. So those two you can use in order to find the keywords you want to rank for. Before we jump into the competitor module, I just want to show you the visibility index. This is pulled directly from Systrix and this is showing you how visible you are on Google. So right now I have a visibility score very low on 0.0047. And here I can calculate my visibility index. Right now it's for Denmark. So we can try and change it for United States and see if it increases. It doesn't at all, it's just zero here. So this is a great way to see whether your articles are shown more on Google or they're decreasing. It's just important that you keep monitoring this. But now let's jump into what we've all been waiting for, the competitor module. In here, I have added two competitors at the moment. And what we can do right now is that we can compare the keywords I'm tracking, how the competitors are ranking on these keywords. And a lot of these keywords I'm ranking very well on. Up here we can get an overview of the average rank, the amount of keywords I'm ranking on the position 1 to 3, position 4 to 10, and position 11 to 100. So up here I'm doing very well. If we want more information, we can dive down here where we can still see the volume, the device and the location. But what I really like about this module is if I click edit competitors, you can see that TrueRanker themselves has analyzed my website. They know what my website is about and that's why they are now showing me different websites that I can add as competitors. I don't even have to look for these and overall the results are great. These two I've just added. They are competitors to me 100%, but Active Collab is more of a product. So overall, it is great results. So let's just add these competitors and I'll accept here. And immediately you will see that it has added the competitors. It already know all of the rankings for these competitors. And if I scroll up here, you can see that the average rank for me is still higher than those that I added. But this getapp.com is ranking higher in the one to three position. So maybe I should take a look at those articles to see what they do different on those specific pieces of content. Overall, that is the competitor module and with the features coming up, it will be so useful and interesting to see what we can do to pull out even more insights from our competitors. Now I want to show you the WordPress plugin. So here is the plugin and it's a simplified way of seeing your keywords. In here we can again see our different keywords on the different positions and then we can add new keywords as well. We can also here see the overview of all of our keywords, the position, how it's changing and again the snippets out here. And if I click we get even more insights to see how I was ranking some days ago who is ranking above me, who's ranking below me. Of course, we always need to look at those who's ranking above us to see what do they do different in order to rank above us and what can we do to snatch that position from them for us to be the number one spot. So the WordPress plugin is just a great way for you to not leave the WordPress environment if you just want to add a keyword. But I would really like to see this integrated a lot more into WordPress maybe to analyze our pages, our content, maybe to automatically add the keywords we have already set within the plugin that we're using for SEO optimization for our WordPress page. And there are a lot more possibilities they can do to make this plugin even more useful. But I think it's a great start and I'm really hoping to see more integrations and a better flow of data from WordPress to TrueRanger. TrueRanger comes in at a very great pricing point, especially when we compare it to the alternatives. And the alternatives as I see it is Authoritas and Nozzle. All these three products combined would be a great product, but these three products remind a lot of each other. However, there are smaller minor details about these different products that differs. And the thing about TrueRanger is especially their competitor module. 
because not only do you compare yourself to your competitors, you can also find competitors through this module. And this we don't see within neither Authoritas nor Nozzle. So I think when we will see the future of True Ranker develop some of these features into the competitor analysis and make it even more elaborate, it will be an even more useful tool. Now I took a look at the roadmap for True Ranker and they don't have so many features planned yet. However, they have a lot of features up for discussion with their users. I want to mention four things that I noticed which will really increase the value of True Ranker as a product. And the first thing I noticed was a more elaborate integration to Google Search Console so we can see more statistics because right now we can only pull keywords which is also useful but with these statistics it will be even better. Then they are also working on a Google Analytics integration and all of the data we have within Google Analytics will make it easier for us to take decisions and to take data-driven decisions on our SEO marketing. Now further, I saw that they are working on a backlinks monitor and these backlinks monitor are always interesting because Ahrefs has the biggest backlink database and that has taken a lot of time to build up. So by TrueRanker starting now, they are a bit behind compared to Ahrefs but hopefully they can pull in a database and start building up their own. Lastly, the competitor module, they will even build it out further. So we can not only compare the competitors to each other based on keywords, but we can also compare them based on the amount of time it takes to load a website, the amount of text there is on a website, and a lot more different factors. And all of these factors will make it possible for us to find an industry standard but also to see how we are laying in the bunch of our competitors compared on multiple metrics. Now, even though True Ranker is a great product, there are still some elements they need to work on. First is the UX. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to navigate around the platform. Second, I'm missing integrations to both Google Analytics and Google Search Console, but this is coming as I just mentioned in the future section before. Now, what makes True Ranker stand out from the competition is definitely the keyword suggestions, both the one they have within the product, but also the ones coming from Google Search Console. And then, of course, the competitor analysis module, which I've already mentioned. We have talked a lot about the competitor module within True Ranker, and it is a great module. But one thing I want to highlight as well is the SEO analyzer. Via the analyzer, you can check your own website on a lot of different points and you can as well check your competitors' websites to see what is the industry standard for different websites, how do they rank, and so much more that you can get out of this tool. And that's why I want to give TrueRank a 4 stars. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.